If you've ever started undertaking a project you thought would be easy and it ended up draining your bank account and your soul, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, like, comment, share, all those kind of fun things. Uh, we're back today, guys, for the Coates family. Um, I'm taking over for today. So hopefully you guys like it. If not, I mean, give it a thumbs down, tell us in the comments, and I'll never come back. Anyway, um, so one person in the last video asked for a tour of the backyard or kind of like an update vlog about, you know, the remodel in the backyard. So I'm gonna go through that today. I don't have any footage from what the yard looked like um, when we first moved in, where I had grass, the cement, kind of some dying trees back there, some oleanders, and part of the fence that was completely rotted out and falling over. Um, but I will walk through and show you what the backyard looks like now. It literally looks like the moon. It's just dead grass, dirt, and roots. Um, I did put up one new part of the fence, some friends and I did. Um, and then we do have the construction crew coming today to start leveling and grading the backyard and installing a French drain. So uh, if you guys come along for the ride. All right guys, so this is kind of the state it's in now. And I'm standing at our back slider. Trigger. So you can see it's totally bare. We did have that huge, it was like 150 foot maple tree that was here. <laughs> Hi buddy. Hi. Um, so you can see the maple tree actually used to be right there. Um, and then all of this was all you can see where there was cement all the way around the backyard. All the way. Um, there used to be a tree here. This whole thing used to be walled in. And there were oleanders along the whole backside right here. All the way. So we pretty much have completely gutted everything. You can still see there's some roots here, you know, old cement. I mean, you can see how just terrible shape the fence is in. So, um, and actually, like I said, the landscaper just pulled up. So we're back here today to do a little bit of work. Um, my friends and I actually built this fence here. So um, it's an uh, eight foot fence is what we started with. Um, I had a friend come over too that actually welded the gate frame together and then same thing so we built this whole entire fence ourselves it took us a whole weekend and i don't know why but i chose to do it over summer and it was like 104 out that day it was an absolute nightmare <clears throat> and the first piece of ground has been broken i can already see them having problems with all the roots great I'm back for another quick update. They've been here for uh, about four hours and look how much work they have got done. It's crazy. So you can already see over there. I'm gonna walk you guys through it once it's all done. I mean, look at all the extra dirt. I mean, it's crazy how much you can get done with the right equipment in a couple hours. Shelly just got back home from school. She's on lunch break. So I want to see her reaction to what the backyard looks like. So watch this. Dang! They did so much in one day. I know. How crazy Dude, is that? Dude, that's crazy. I know. Day two, I'm going to give you guys a walkthrough of the backyard. Um, the uh, landscaper is on the way back over right now to start the retaining wall. So I want to do a little bit of filming to show you what it looks like after we had the bobcat here. After we did all the grading. And forgive my appearance, I just rolled out of bed so you can see my hair is all crazy. Alright guys, let's check it out. Alright guys, starting here in the back right corner. So you can 
can see there's quite a bit of change. So you should have seen how many roots were all along the pavement here, all the way around. So they also started over here on this side. They started the French drain. So you can see it goes all the way down. It's gonna go under the fence and out to the street side. So all the water will run out there. And you guys can just see how many roots were in this backyard. It was an absolute nightmare. So you can see is what they're doing with all this dirt. So they're actually, they're building the retaining wall. It's about four feet out from the fence the whole way. But you can see where the fence line is at now. It's actually gonna be about six to eight inches higher. So we're gonna take all this dirt push it into our neighbor's backyard up to where his retaining wall because his lot sits a little higher than ours so we can get this fence a little bit taller so you can see out to the gate there you can see how much dirt they took out of here they did 10 truckloads and his truck held about four yards of dirt which is just an absolute ton and you can see the dogs have already been digging of course it's like scout's dream she can just dig as much dirt as she wants and then also you can see that fence that used to touch the ground and you can see how much of a gap. There's almost about a foot under there now. So we had to block something for the dogs. And then here's some of the roots that got out of the backyard. You can still see there is pieces of root all over. So I got this dirt pile here they're hauling away. But when you look, you can just see roots everywhere. So we still got to clean all that up. And then coming back over here, they did break up some of the cement. There's a cement pad that's under here. So, but he's on the way back right now and they're gonna start digging the retaining wall today. Also, I'm gonna try something a little bit different. Something we haven't done. Well, I guess this is a new channel, but something we haven't done in this channel yet. So here we go, check this out. This is the difference between me and Shelly. She gets ready before she gets on camera. I roll out looking like I got hit by a bus. <laughs> All right guys, so day three of backyard renovations. Just gonna give you a quick scan again. So you can see they did start trenching for the retaining wall. See they've started trenching over here. So they're about halfway through. And if you can notice that giant pile of roots over there they've just been having a really hard time with the roots so as you can see from there they're about halfway through they still got about another 50 or yeah, 50 feet to go so they got quite a bit of room still quite a bit of ways to go so this will be the end of part one uh, part two will probably start off with them building the retaining wall and I'll kind of go back through and give an overview. But we're going to go through the whole thing all the way from um, then putting in the uh, sprinklers and putting in the sod, which we're hoping we can get in before it starts raining because if we have this giant mud pit in the backyard with two dogs, um, every day when we come home from work when it rains during winter is going to be a nightmare. It'll be daily baths, which they both hate. So um, we're trying to get sod down and get this all buttoned up. So um, I'll take you along for the ride, but this is the end of part one and we'll be back soon with part two. All right guys, bye.